Hi guys, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. Today I'm going to share a couple of really uh, simple ways to think about the golf swing. One being a body type swing and one being an arm type swing, sort of body versus the arms. Now I'm not going to sort of do what um, you'll probably see in other videos where it's trying to get the timing right between the body and the arms. You know, does the dog wag the tail or does the tail wag the dog type of thing, right? But what I want to do is help you find a swing that is more in keeping to your golfing DNA. And that means that some of you are going to be more body type swingers. Some of you are going to be more letting it flow. You know, one of my most popular videos is feeling the heavy arms. And that is literally, as you swing, feeling the weight of the arms are an absolute ton. And what that does is give you the momentum, give you the freedom, give you the flow that we want. However, it can cause some inconsistencies if it doesn't feel natural to you. So think about it in a way of um, more of a, I don't know, that's, the first that springs to mind is perhaps Tiger Woods, very much a body swinger, or Nick Faldo, a body swinger, beautiful timing. But then you've got Colin Montgomery, who was very arms, loosey-goosey type thing. But both, you know, fantastic ball strikers and consistent in their own right, but very different goal swings. You couldn't make one swing like the other. You couldn't make Colin Montgomery have a body type swing. So why should we try and you know, tell you what to do? I want you to figure it out for yourself. So let's just walk through those couple of options, test them out, see what is like your DNA, and then we build from there. All right, let's get to it. All right, so body versus arms. The body swing first. The body swing is basically feeling like the rib cage, the chest, everything here is dictating that movement, that the core, that this, you know, this is swinging the golf club and the arms just sort of follow around it. What you might find is that can give you a nice wide feeling golf swing. So we're, you know, a bit more powerful, a bit more static. We've got width. We've got, we know, we're feeling the, the body that is controlling as much as we can control in the golf swing. And it's going to sometimes give you a bit more um, solid contact, you know. So, like from down the line, it's going to feel a lot wider because we're rotating from the belly button. We're rotating the rib cage. This is what's dictating it. And the arms are just going where that dictates, okay? That's what's happening, and the same on the transition down. We're using the larger muscles here to transition and really feel like the rib cage again is over the top of the golf ball and we're turning through. That's the feeling. A drill that I like, maybe it comes from my tennis days, but just taking the right hand only, okay, pointing down at the golf ball and then turning the body back. That's giving me width. Obviously, I'm not going to get there, but this was actually my first kind of golf swing. I used to have an exceptionally wide, big golf swing with very little sort of wrist hinge because it came from my tennis days, which was a forehand. So I would just plant it back, but then I transition it to a golf swing. So there, that's basically all I would have. But what's doing that is the engine, the body, uh, you know, that that's it. So I don't want you to focus on positions. I don't want you to focus on certain aspects. I just want you to feel like what's turning is the chest. We're getting that shoulders, you know, we're, we're tilting down. So there's not just rotation this way. We've got a bit of tilt this way. That's a wonderful move in the golf swing, even just to practice it, where we're tilting to the side, like shortening the gap here from the shoulder to, to the hip. Okay. And then we turn that's going to give you a very accurate body golf swing. That's going to put you in the right positions, okay? But the, what this is is about a sensation. It doesn't mean we don't have suppleness in the wrist. It doesn't mean we don't have feeling in the arms. But what's making this golf swing is the body. It's giving width. This is the engine. So as I strike through, I really feel like my pelvis is doing it, that my belt buckle is finishing towards the target, that my core is the engine, that my chest is the sort of big rotational unit through. I'm forgetting about what the arms are doing. I'm almost forgetting what the club is doing because 
if I get the angles correct here, so we're not turning that way, we're tilting at the same time, I'm hitting the slot, as it were, just as I need to be. And that's it. So I do a few practice swings like that. But as we come and hit shots, I want to emphasize that body golf swing. So I'm going to do some practice swings there. I'm emphasizing that body golf swing. Sorry about the divot, but I'm going to go this way. All I'm feeling about is rotating that core. And to me, that was a body golf swing. All right. I can rely on that quite a lot. That's happy for me. So try that out. Feel like the core, the chest, the upper body, that is what's doing it. What's the other option? We've got the arm swing. This is where tapping into your own Colin Montgomery might help you because what that's going to do is give you the sensation of how heavy this club is, how heavy the arms are, and really letting gravity assist you in those goal shots. All right. On a hot day like it is today, my British bride can't really handle it too well. But what we want is to feel tempo. Doesn't mean shorter goal shots. It just means what's dictating is the weight of this club. I'm building up momentum that way. It's almost a bit less effort because I'm just allowing gravity. I'm allowing the weight of the clubs and momentum to give me my goal swing. Colin Montgomery, one of the straightest, most amazing golfers that has ever played this game. Okay, he didn't win majors, whether it's his head, his putting, whatever, but his driving, his iron play was second to none for years and years and years. And what did his swing look like? All right, let's take off a few pounds, but I mean, add on a few pounds, but he just allowed the arms to flow up. He was steep this way and he just dropped the club back on the ball. That's all he did. It was effortless. He had momentum, but it was the weight of the club that did the work for him. And he didn't have to practice much. He didn't have to think too much about technique. He swung the same for years and years and still does. He did well as a senior golfer. He didn't really have many injuries. It was a very good golf swing. So who's to say that his isn't the perfect golf swing? Your type, as I said, your type is going to do that. So tap into your Colin Montgomery, feel the weight of the club. If you want to have a bit steeper, but allow that lolling effect as you take it away. Feel like the, the club, the butt of the club is leading the hands if you want. So you've got this feeling, that easiness, that tempo. Try that. Hit some shots like that. As I said, I'm going to give a bit of a Conor Montgomery impersonation here. I'm a bit skewer for my target. Always choose your intermediate point. So I'm just going to allow the club to go back. Just easy peasy. I could do that all day long. Very stress free, very easy. So there's your two options. A body golf swing that's focusing more on the angles, using the core, using the whole unit to generate the power and the consistency that you want. Or just allowing the club to more or less go where it wants and just be easy and free flowing. Either of those can work perfectly. Find which sort of foundation is best for you. Doesn't have to mean that you're one or the other. I actually like to sit somewhere in the middle. But once you feel the sort of polar opposites for each one, that's going to give you a good baseline to find your middle ground that is consistent with the body, but that is allowing tempo and freedom to use the club properly. Do that and you will play better golf. All right. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel, share it and all that kind of stuff as well. If you follow a link, there's an awesome series to help you with every department of your game to slash five, 10 shots wherever you are.